Hey everybody, this is Greg Comparico of TechCrunch, and we're here with Brendan Arib and Nate Mitchell of Oculus VR. They've just won the best hardware startup at the Crunchies. How's it feel, guys? Woo! Awesome. Yeah, it's an awesome surprise. True honor. I'm a little bit disappointed that you guys weren't like, we're going to Virtual Disney World! <laughs> Strap on the... I don't know. Yeah, I should have said, we're, we'll see you in the metaverse. <laughs> in time. Yeah. All right. So, this is... Pretty good validation for you guys. You know, you guys, not that you guys need any more validation. You've got everyone, you've got Gabe Newell, you've got John Carmack working with you guys now. That's amazing. But now this is kind of the community saying, we vote these guys as best hardware startup. How does that feel? Uh, it, again, incredible honor. Actually, a pretty big surprise. Um, there are some great uh, other people up on the board. So we're big fans of Square, we're big fans of a lot of the other companies, Sonos, and, and so it was a true honor, definitely. Who would you have voted for if you couldn't vote for yourself uh, amongst the nominees? It's a really tough call, Square. I'm a huge Square fan, so Definitely. they've done yeah. an incredible job um, just building an incredible company, yeah, and really changing the way people are doing commerce, so. All right, so it's, it's a standard question, and I know it's going to be a standard answer, but I've got to ask, what's next for you guys in the line? We, we've seen the dev kit come out, we've seen the Crystal Curl, Curl prototype, which is amazing, by the way. I still haven't gotten to play with it, and I'm dying to, but where do you guys go from here? Well, the mission is to change the world. The mission is to bring virtual reality for the first time and really blow open an industry that uh, it's been waiting for. I mean, people have been imagining it for, I don't know, 30, 40 years for this holy grail virtuality to finally arrive. And we want to bring it there with, you know, Consumer V1. Uh, so we still have a lot of work to do. We're still, the team's hard at work. Um, and it's a lot of fun working with the community. The community is also hard at work because it, no matter what we bring on the science, on the technology side, on the platform side, if there's not great content, then there's not much to do with this great product. So uh, the developers out there, it's a whole lot on them as well to build all this content, to build the future with us. Of all the demos, of all the proof of concepts you've seen built with Oculus so far, what are your favorites? Uh, well, there's some funny ones. There's, uh, you know, um, I, I I love uh, the chicken one where you can go in and you can look around and be be a chicken if you want. Um, there's uh, there's being a giraffe, a, an elephant. There's all these different um, experiences. But I think some of the uh, more practical ones that uh, where you get inside a cockpit and you're able to feel like you're really in a cockpit is very exciting. But uh, for us, I think. It's even beyond just games. There's actually going to be all these experiences out there that really help uh, make the world a smaller place and a more connected place. So that's what, that's what we're excited to see. Okay. So that was I, a good answer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great answer. We talked briefly earlier about you know, many, many people are on board with this, huge names. Is there anybody that you haven't convinced yet that you actually really still are just trying to convince to, to get on your team? Oh yeah, definitely. There's, uh, we, we, we have a list of some of the you know, best, smartest guys out there that um, we would be honored to work with. Uh, of course, John Carmack's pretty high on the list, so that was exciting to be able to engage with him. Um, but there's a number of great developers out there. There's lots of great developers, and, and we're reaching out. We're trying to, uh, to, to attract them either to the ecosystem, to the community, to develop uh, on the platform, or to the company to actually help build the platform. Last question, is the technology that's available right now holding you guys back? Is that what the bottle is there, is there a bottleneck with tech itself with the hardware that's available? Uh, at this point the the technology um, you know we feel like the technology we have a pretty good grip on, especially for kind of that first uh, consumer experience. It's more a matter of execution to get there, um, but a lot of the hardest problems, especially things like uh, the comfort level inside, the nausea level, we've been able to get through that, and we have internal prototypes that really show and prove that we're gonna be able to deliver an experience that the mass market can enjoy. So it's more around execution. I think the biggest thing now is uh, the community has to uh, you know come together and developers come together to build great content. Um, again, it comes back to content. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. Great. Thanks so much, and thanks for watching. Thank you.